Here we have a remote set. This is a uh, Packard Bell. Dates from the late 60s. I don't have the remote unit for it, but it is remote set. There is the tran there's the uh, I think they call it a transducer. It picks up an ultrasonic sound and changes volume and channels and whatnot. This set uh, is in very good shape. It's really like new on the inside. The CRT, while it has this uh, with a green halo on it, it tests quite well. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. We'll do a quick demo of it. I might have to close the garage door. We'll see how that works out. Well, I'll go ahead and close it. I know it's, well, I don't know. We'll see. We have Jeopardy on For right now. This French preposition means at the home of. Mark, what is Shay? Yes. Odds and ends for Warner? Listen, here is our theme in this musical style associated with go. Vienna. Claudia, what is a wall? Yeah, I can right. see that. Let me close the garage um, door. Time uh, after. Yep. Let me mess with the antenna a little bit through. here. Odds and ends for 600, please. A court officer there cries this twice to get silent. Hear ye, hear ye. Dave. What's Oyez? Yes, Oyez. Oh, well. Yeah, turbo for, me, no for six. No joke, a gel called the vitreous this I fills oh. the space between the retina and the lens of your eye. Mark, what is humor? Humor, that's the word. Internal fluidity for 800, please. Answer there. I'm trying to mess with the antenna here to get the color to come in a little better. There we go. I'll bet 3,000. Okay, here's the clue. Plasma is blood without cells. This is blood without cells and clotting factors. What is lymph? No, what is serum? Uh, so you're at 3,200 now. Uh, Let's adjust the color. The liver sends yeah. this alkaline liquid to the gallbladder to help with digestion. Mark, what is bile? Bile, that's it. Me just uh, messing with the colors a little bit. It was I think before that was I had a cell phone, so when I said, hit me on the hip, I meant contact vertical. me via this device. Mark, what is brightness? Pager? That's right. And let's go for 400. It was Contrast. Nine. The pump. It's the tent here. Was a shoe you pumped there we up with go. air for a snugger fit. Mark, what is Reebok? That's it. Uh, odds and ends for. Uh, uh, we'll go ahead and demo the. the uh, and Samoyed are this type of dog <laughs> with. Trying to find the volume. Here we go. Now, what's interesting about this TV is it has a the the picture's a lot better than it looks here. I'm sorry, folks. I just don't have a good antenna hooked up to it. But what's interesting about this TV is it has this. Uh, built-in degausser that you can press any time you want to degauss a set so you know if you wanted to you just go bang like that it's pretty it nice it purifies the color and if I get a decent signal to it, we could probably demonstrate it I'm moving the, there we go that looks better anyway that's the uh, Packard Bell I'm gonna finish this video by having a uh, take the back off and uh, Turn around so we can see the inside a little bit better. Anyway, you have, I love this thing here. Watch, it's really bang. Pretty cool. I think the way that works, if I recall correctly, it has a capacitor in there that basically uh, charges. And while it's charging, AC current is flowing. And then, I mean, it actually has a capacitor, a diode, and a coil. And it flows the current through the coil. Then it goes through the diode to the capacitor. As the capacitor charges up, the current drops down, and that's how it does it. Look how nice the color is. Okay, let me get the back off. We take another look at it. Here's the back of it. This is a. Well, I thought I could find the chassis number somewhere here, but it's not jumping out at me. Care. He's a little care of Packard Bell cabinets. That's nice. I don't see anything on the sides. Maybe over here. Nope. Maybe over here. No. Oh wait, what's this? Nope. I don't think that's it. Well, I thought I had, knew the chassis number on this, but I'm not seeing it displayed prominently anywhere. 
Well, anyway, let's just go over it. Tuner. It's a. Uh, I see tubes back there, so it's a tube type tuner, and this is the. This is all part of the um, remote unit here. It's transistorized. I see a lot of connections. That means it should be easy to take things and disconnect them. It's always a good sign. Oh, well, that's the part of the degaussian circuit I was talking about before. I see a diode in there, some kind of current limiting resistor, two diodes. Oh, it's a, oh it's a, sorry, it's four diodes. So it's a uh, full wave rectifier that charges up that capacitor and just passes the current through those red wires, which goes around the set as part of the degausser. Uh, got a nice big power transformer on it. This is a hybrid set, so it has a transistorized front end and a chroma circuit, which is mounted vertically. There's all your chroma tubes. Uh, over here you have your sweep tubes. Everything's easily plugged in. I remember I had a problem with this set I can't remember what the details were, but I think one of these pots went bad on me. That's why you'll see this nice precision pot. I don't know if you can, there it is. This right here is a precision pot. I had to replace it so I couldn't find one of these little trim pots. Uh, I don't remember the details what happened there, but I think I was having some kind of flaky AGC action or noise action, noise limiting action. Uh, let's see. How hard would it be to get this off? Oh great, it's like I probably broke the, uh, the focus coil off. Fantastic. Oh well, damn it. Let's we'll see about that. Oh, yeah. oh, I just pushed it in maybe. Here we go. Push that back in. Not broken. Good. Um, huh, that's cool. That just moves. The, you can other more of that. Fly back. I see absolutely no drippage at all. This thing is so clean. There's not even any hard, any real dust buildup in here. It's a, a very nice that nice pliable cap on that shunt rectifier. Put this back together before I end up breaking something. Anyway, that's the high voltage cage. Excuse me, one hand in it. Um, CRT. That yoke has no dust on it at all. Very little dust on the CRT. That's how you can pretty much tell it's a low hour set because there's basically no dust accumulating. Convergence board looks fairly complex. They probably had gotten the convergence worked out a little better, although it looks like it's typical RCA with the nine controls here and then the coils. Um, well, anyway, that's it. Sweep tube. I see Packard Bell labeled tubes. All Packard Bell tubes. Even has a Packard Bell focus tube on it. And here is the IF stages, which I said was transistorized. So, oh, I see one tube back there. Let me see if we can tell what that is. That's a audio detector and out, according to this schematic. So, I don't know why they were using such a mishmash of tubes, but that's the way it is. You got your filter caps down here. You can see that. All point-to-point -point wiring on the uh, bottom of the chroma chassis. Back up so you can see that a little bit better. It's all point-to-point -point chassis. So it essentially uses these same kind of uh, Zenith type connectors, except for the IF board. Except for a PC board for the IF. So, you know, I guess they were just kind of figuring all this stuff out. Maybe the assumption was the IF was more critical, so using PC boards was a good thing. Delay line looks brand new, no dust, no mung or goo. Even all the the wires here are completely dry. You know, none of that, none of that like cigarette tar that typically accompanies use used sets. So anyway, and we've got a Packard Bell branded 25 XP22. Uh, it's, again, since it's got the green halo, I assume it's a Zenith style. And there you have it. Anyway, that's the, uh, the back of it. So my plan is to do nothing with this except put it into use. More later.